Hey everyone, and welcome back to Grilling and Smoking by Micah. Uh, a couple months ago, I did a, a pizza grilling video. Uh, I got a lot of lot of views. People seem to like it. Um, that video, I just used a Papa Murphy's pizza, so I was wanting to do a pizza from scratch and put it up and show you how we uh, how we make our pizza here. So, um, going to be using a bread machine and uh, just going off uh, a recipe that we've always used. It calls for one cup plus six tablespoons of lukewarm water three tablespoons of olive oil four cups of all-purpose flour three-fourths teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of dry milk, and one envelope <coughs> of yeast. And what my wife told me to do was to make a little whale in the flour and then pour the yeast into the, the well. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get this going and we'll check back in with you once this is done. All right guys, the uh, dough's just almost done so I was gonna go ahead and get the sauce going. It's a no cook recipe, real simple. And <clears throat> because we're making a lot of pizzas, I'm doubling the recipe. Um, so take uh, one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and then one six ounce can of tomato paste. That would be the one recipe, but like I said, I'm, I'm going to double it up since we're making a ton of pizzas. All right, everyone, I went ahead and put uh, both cans of sauce, both both uh, cans of tomato paste. And <clears throat> I went ahead and got the tomato paste with the roasted garlic. Had I not been able to find that out, I actually added some fresh garlic or some garlic powder. So what I'm gonna do now is just get this mixed up real good until it gets to the consistency um, that I like. And then we'll be back to add a little bit more. Okay, everybody, I got it all mixed up. <clears throat> Now what I'm going to do, I've got um, one teaspoon of onion powder. I'm just going to add about half of this and stir it up and then taste it to see if I want to add any more. And I'm going to do um, the same thing. I've got a um, tablespoon of sugar here. And once I get all this mixed up, I'm going to see if I even need the sugar. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, everyone, got this mixed up. I went ahead and added the rest of the onion. So that is a one teaspoon of onion and added just a little bit of that sugar. So now that we have all that mixed up, the dough has three minutes. We'll get that out. Um, me and the kids are gonna make some pizzas. And once we get that done, we'll get everything out on the grill. All right, everyone, we're back, and I got the kids making their pizza, getting the dough all pressed out in their pans. So uh, when they get ready to top it, we'll be back and take a look at that. Okay, we've moved on to toppings now. Got cheese going on, some bacon. Looks like we got some Canadian bacon and bacon going on over there. There's some pepperoni. And my boy has finished his. Looks like he's got a little pineapple, some pepperoni, Canadian bacon, bacon and cheese. So we're gonna get these uh, cooked up and we'll show you the finished product when we're done with them. All right, there's kids eating their pizza. They made it themselves. Now, I will admit, the kids' pizza we went ahead and did in the oven. I mean, there's only so much room on the grill, and they were getting hungry. So, how is it, guys? It's awesome. 
All right, everybody, uh, I've got the uh, dough all pressed out. And like I said, I like mine thin. So I start out in the middle and it takes a while. Get everything pushed out. So now I'm gonna dock it. And all that is is poking hole, holes in it so you don't get those air bubbles. And I just use a fork, kind of do like this. Okay, when you got that done, and I'm the, I'm the one in the family that likes a lot of pizza sauce. So I just kind of eyeball it. Just kind of start in the middle, work your way out. All right, I got the, uh, and like I said, I like it saucy. So I got the sauce all spread out. I'm just gonna put a thin layer of cheese down. Try to get as close to the edges as you can. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a bunch of meat toppings on here. I'm, I'm definitely a, a meat eater. So I'm gonna put some Canadian bacon. And then we're gonna come back and do some pepperoni and some bacon. Um, then we'll finish it off with a little more cheese. Meet you back then. All right, guys, I've got the uh, Canadian bacon, some pepperoni, and some bacon on there. I'm just going to top it with a little more cheese. There's a local pizza place here called Rod's Pizza Cellar. And the way they do their specialty pizzas, uh, mainly the, the Godfather, and they have one called the Razor Bacchio, which is one I go for because it's loaded with all the meat. They finish it off with provolone. <clears throat> And this just puts a really nice, I guess, smooth layer of cheese on top of the pizza. Just awesome. So I'll get this finished up and then we'll get out to the grill. All right, everyone, my wife wanted French bread pizza. So you can see how she's made pizza there. I said we're making a ton of pizza. We're gonna have uh, pizza for breakfast and lunch tomorrow, I think. Probably even have enough for dinner also. All right, guys, we're at the grill now. And I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but people are shooting off fireworks. It's uh, January 1st, so people still have some fireworks left over from last night to shoot off. So if you hear some bangs going on, that's what it is. Um, <clears throat> got my charcoal chimney, chimney here, full of the brim. Again, lump charcoal. I'm gonna be using the, I don't know what the baskets that come with uh, Weber grills. And I'm going to just put half an inch. Okay, got some tongs, and I'm just going to use the tongs to pull this one over to the side. So basically, I just want the, the heat on the sides here and nothing in the middle. And it is pizza, so you definitely want this just as hot as you can get it. And you can see right now, it is definitely hot. All right, guys, I got uh, one of the pizzas out here. And I know some of you guys are thinking it'd be better with a pizza stone, and you may be right. Um, I've never cooked a pizza on a pizza stone out here before. Uh, but the pizza stone we have is not near this big. It is a really thin crust. And this is going to be really super hot. So um, I'm just going to lay this right in the middle, put the lid on, offset a little bit so we can keep that temperature up, and we'll check on it uh, when it's done. Okay, guys, it's been out here about 10 minutes. It's been about 500. I'm about to pull this off. Just want to take a peek at this crust here. So you can get a nice golden crust without a pizza stone. So I'm gonna get this off and back in the house and we'll meet you in there when we're slicing it up. 
All right, everybody, we're back inside now. Here's the pizza. I'm gonna go ahead and get it sliced up. Hopefully you can hear the crunch there. Now, take a look at this on the bottom, nice and golden, real thin, and I'm going to take a bite <clears throat> and probably burn the inside of my mouth. Guys, that's a great pizza. I got another one out there going right now. We did French bread pizza, the kids did pizza. I'll put pictures of everything in the video here at the end so you can see it all. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you liked it, please give me a like. Please subscribe. I don't, share it on Facebook, share it on Pinterest if you're on Pinterest. Uh, follow me on Facebook, uh, Grilling and Smoking by Micah. Guys, again, I appreciate you. And until next time, we'll see you.